This week's movies, Touchy Feely, Riddick, and Salinger. So it's 1979, I get an assignment from Newsweek magazine to photograph this author. He doesn't like to be photographed, but we do know he picks up his mail in Windsor, Vermont. So I waited. Directed by Shane Salerno, Salinger is a sensationalist documentary about the iconoclastic writer. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, Mr. Salerno assembles his documentary material into a breathless story full of hyperbole and speculation. Salinger suffered a nervous breakdown. The resulting blend of reverence and character assassination is an almost perfect distillation of the modern pathology of fame. There are insights that can be plucked from it, but to do so requires strenuous and willful resistance to the spirit of the project, which is not just leering and gossipy, but aggressively anti-literary. Salinger moved into the woods of New Hampshire partly to escape the intrusions and indignities of American celebrity culture. Salinger is that culture's revenge. Writing a book is a horrible, exhausting struggle. One would never undertake such a thing if one were not driven by some demon. And he had demons. Riddick is the third in a series of films about an interplanetary mercenary anti-hero. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, The film helps to explain the unlikely ascendancy of Vin Diesel as a man of cinema. He embodies a particularly salient caricature of masculinity, and has at last come into his own as a contemporary hero, one who suggests a post-race ideal, even as he affirms old-fashioned power with displays of annihilating violence. The dust churns, the clouds gather, the bullets fly, the men fall, the diesel rises. Touchy Feely is about a brother and sister who undergo abrupt psychological transformation. You look wan. In his review, Stephen Holden writes, The movie is a detour into the ozone for the director, whose hard-headed, sharply written satires, Hump Day and Your Sister's Sister, explore the booby traps in intimate relationships. But where the sensibility of her early movies is solidly grounded in psychological reality, Touchy Feely wobbles into uncharted psychic territory. Just let go of your fear and embrace the world. It seems that Miss Shelton is searching for a direction out of the mumblecore cul-de-sac that served her so well in the past. You're just... You're so... So what? Uh...